when you leave this place, I need you to get in beast mode and stay in beast mode. On three, beast mode. One, two, three. Beast mode. No, come on. One, two, three. Beast mode. Come on. One, two, three. Beast mode. If you wake up at 3.30, some other kid's getting up at 3 and he's got 30, 30 minutes on you today. I need you to do me a huge favor. I need you not only to want to be a beast, I need you to live in beast mode. Because if you live in beast mode, you'll have what other people don't have. Listen to me very closely. Not only will you have what other people don't have, you'll do what other people can't do. So what is it? What is that one thing that you're saying that I am going to get this thing done and I'm gonna make my dreams become a reality? Everyone wants to be a beast until it's time to do a real beast do. Everybody wants to be a beast. Everybody wants to make their dreams become a reality. There's no one sitting in this room who said, I wanna procrastinate. I don't wanna get it done. I don't want to get to the next level. No, every person in this room, not only do you want your dreams to become a reality, you deserve for your dreams to become a reality. This is important. Seasons are always temporary. Say it. Crisis is not a permanent condition. It's just a season. And the key to life is what you have to do is organize yourself to outlast the season, that's all. As long as you're average, you're gonna get what average people get. If you get to that point where you do exactly what you say you're gonna do, you're gonna get to the next level. But no one can do it for you but you. It's not over until I win. Life has taught me that you will grow through what you go through. Life has taught me that you will grow through what you go through. Life has taught me for every level, there's another devil. Life has taught me the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. Everybody wants something in life but many of you in this room right now, your beast mode is idle. Your beast mode is not turned on. And when you leave this place, I'm telling you, your life is going to go to a whole other level if you can learn to turn that switch on and keep that switch on. I outlasted the pain. You're saying, I've got dreams, I have goals, there are things that I want to accomplish, I'm not satisfied. Like, I don't sleep well at night. Like, like E.T., e. I, I dream it, E.T., I want it, E.T. Let me tell you something. If you get to that point, if you get to that point where you do exactly what you say you're going to do, you're going to get to the next level. As an individual, I need you to get your schedule up. I need you to get your life up. I need you to get your words up. I need you to get your heart up. I need you to get your action up. I need you to get to a place that every single thing that you do is phenomenal so that the life you want to live, you can actually live that life. Everybody wants to be number one. Everybody wants to be the best. Everybody wants to succeed. Everybody wants to have to be and do what they feel they've been called to do. The challenge becomes, most of us, when it's time to do what beasts do, we don't do it. I need you to put this down, put this down, put this down. Because what you're going to discover as you're going towards your dream, as you're going towards your goal, they're going to be, there are going to be so many distractions. There are going to be so many people that are haters, so many people that come up against you, so many obstacles, so many trials, so many tribulations. And when people ask me, E.T., like for real, for real, E., I know you can give me 20 things that you've done to help yourself to become successful. But E.T., I just need like one or two. Can you give me one or two? And one of the things I tell people is, I outlasted the pain. 
I outlasted the pain. I need you to recycle your pain. When I was sleeping in those abandoned buildings, I kept telling myself, one day you'll be a homeowner. Every time I walked into that abandoned building, I told myself that this might be your current circumstances, but this will not be how the story ends. All you have to do, E.T., is to survive today. When they kicked me out of school, I knew that I would not be a high school dropout for the rest of my life. I knew I got to get through this one day. Me and my mom have been through a lot. My mom and I have gone months and almost years of not talking to each other, but every single day I kept telling myself, one day I'll have a, a great relationship with my mom again. One day. Well, I didn't grow up with my biological father. He wasn't into my, in my life until I was 30 years old. But I told myself, today your father is not in your life, but one day. And so every single day when I wake up homeless, one day, Every single day when I woke up in that abandoned building, one day, one day is going to be E.T.'s day, but that day can't come if I give up today. So every single day when I woke up, I kept telling myself, today might not be the day, but soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain. I said, what do you mean, E.T., you recycled your pain? I turned homelessness into a book. I turned my father not being in my life to a book. I turned an estranged relationship with my mom into a book. I turned being homeless into a book. I turned being a high school dropout into a bestseller. And not only do they sell it in America, they sell it across the world. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you or will you let it redefine you? I outlasted the pain.